starting to smell good. Look at that roast. Nice brown to it. Look at that stock down there. Mm. I want to drink that stock. Oh my god, can you imagine how good it is to me? <laughs> looks just looks like flavor. Mm-hmm. Pull some stock in there too. I will. I'm gonna give you the honors the first piece. That's the cut side. Oh my gosh. Yeah? That stock is delicious. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, I put uh, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper. It tastes like a stew. Like if you mean like, like if you had carrots, carrots would go good with this. Mm -hmm. Onions, little potatoes. Yep. Dude, this is literally just a hunk of meat, some water, and some spices. 
you know, powder that was in my backpack. So it's not a big high maintenance roast. I don't need onions, I don't need anything. Even though I know a place where wild onions grows in the forest, it's too early in the year for them to be around, so they're not in here. It feels tender. Good. I cooked it low and slow. Yeah, it's very tender. It hasn't uh, lost its. Not dry at all. You dip it in the, in the, in the salt and the juice. Oh. <laughs> And it was all in an ultralight titanium pot, used like a Dutch oven. Oh wow, that was good. <clears throat> Check some of that stuff, that stock, and that's good. Mm -hmm. Beautifully tender, just pulls apart. Absolutely delicious. I bet you if you were sick and you had this? Yeah, you'd be really uh, bouncing back after this. Oh. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yeah, the garlic is good. The garlic in it. Yeah, the garlic really shines. So there it is. I used my titanium ultralight pot. That's a Dutch oven. Cook a nice roast. With just ingredients in my backpack and a hunk of meat. Very low maintenance. Mmm. Incredible. This is Mitch with the Native Survival School. Check out my website, nativesurvival.com. And as always, enjoy the outdoors. <laughs>